for years when it comes to parallel clamps, Bessie has always kind of been the gold standard in many shops everywhere that you look. However, Harbor Freight has just dropped what I believe is going to be an interesting competitor. And so today we're going to take a look at this clamp and we're going to see just how it stacks up against the competition. Let's go. So if parallel clamps are a totally new concept to you, let's talk about this for just a second. Essentially the idea is that these clamps, the way that their jaws work, do a better job of giving you a perfectly parallel glue up and helping to, when things are glued up, that those jaws are staying a true 90 degrees, helping things to stay a lot more consistent. If you've watched my shop tour video, you know that I have a grand total of two Bessie clamps. And the reason being, they're honestly pretty cost prohibitive. I just don't like spending a lot of money on clamps. It's just not super fun or sexy to me. And so I just have a hard time spending that kind of money on clamps. If you said, would you rather have 10 Bessie clamps or a good track saw? I'm taking the track saw every time. But these clamps, when I bought them, they were about 50 or 55 bucks a couple of years ago, and now they've even gone up more. They're about 69 bucks right now. But the Bremen clamps that I purchased from Harbor Freight, they rang in at about 39 bucks, and that's pretty hard to beat. We're talking about almost half price here at this point in the game. So let's talk about specs for a second. I'm simply gonna read from this cardboard that was attached to the clamp. Uh, it says it is a 48 inch K-body parallel clamp. Now, if you know much about the Bessie clamps, they're actually a 50 inch clamp when it comes to clamps this size. And so there's a couple inches difference there. The next thing I noticed is it says it allows for up to 1300 pounds of clamping force, whereas a Bessie clamp allows for up to 1700. So we're seeing a little bit of trade-offs here for that lower price. The next thing is it has a three and three quarter inch throat depth, which is the same as the Bessie. Um, it has resin constructed body and jaws to prevent glue adhesion and marring, same as the Bessie. Uh, pretty much everything else is pretty much the same as far as just the simple specs that are on the paperwork are concerned. So if you noticed a minute ago, I said that this was a 48 inch clamp, whereas the other is a 50. However, the two of these together are actually the same length. Um, when you put them up side by side, the, the steel bars on them are the same length. But the difference is that the head on the clamping mechanism that has the handle that head is a wider head and it's about two inches wider. Um, and so that's where we lose that length. When we run it to the end, we're losing most of that length in that wider, bigger head that's on there. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that I did take these clamps and I ran this all the way out as far as it would go. And I noticed that it is um, about 48 and 3 eighths, 48 and a half. So it is a little bit over that 48. So if you had a 48 inch piece, I think you could get it in there, no problem. So the next thing I wanted to mention was the weight, just how these feel. Now, just on picking them up, they felt about the same to me, but I wanted to get super scientific. So I went and I got the scales out of the bathroom, brought them in the shop, and I jumped up on the scales, weighed, said that I weighed about 165 pounds. If you believe that, I got some land I'll say in Arizona. Anyway, uh, I hopped off of there, I grabbed the clamps, I, I jumped on with the, one of the clamps, and I weighed and did the math on that one. I jumped on the other one, did it again, and they were ringing in really close with a, within about 0.2 of each other. So about 8.6, 8.4 pounds a piece is what they were ringing in. Uh, so really, really similar as far as that is concerned. I didn't really see, you know, in other words, it's not at all something like where the Harbor Freight clamps, like they've cheaped out and used aluminum or anything like that everything feels honestly about the same. One of the most important things about these clamps is that they are parallel and square because, you know, we need to be able to have that. We're paying more money for that. That's one of the things that we're paying for when it comes to a parallel type clamp. So we ended up just taking these clamps and put a Bessie, a Harbor Freight, a Bessie, a Harbor Freight, and I butted those all up and the fixed end I adjusted and I put to where the fixed end, the base of the fixed end, they are all flush with each other. But if you look at the top of those fixed ends, you're gonna notice that something is off and it is either the Bessie or it's the Harbor Freight clamps because they're both off about the same distance. So I took my Delft Square and I put it on there. And the first thing that I noticed is that the Bessie clamps are almost perfect. Unfortunately, those Harbor Freight clamps, they're out of square. Um, so that is unfortunate. Uh, I don't know if it's a deal breaker. 
because I've probably clamped up with worse, if I'm being really honest. So the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to clamp something up and just see how does that movable end, how does everything clamp up, and does it get square when we clamp things down? So basically I left the, all four clamps in the same position they were in, and I just took a piece of a butcher block top that I had cut off that was just a, a cut off end and I just put it in there and I clamped everything down side by side pretty much pretty close to each other and then I, once I got everything tightened down um, I tried to put about the same amount of pressure again this is not super scientific y'all uh, but I put about the same amount of pressure what felt like about the same amount of pressure and then I took my square and I laid it in there and I went across and I checked everything and honestly everything was pretty close on that adjustable end so I was fairly happy with that and while we're on the subject of the adjustable end of this uh, with the crank and the handles and all that stuff I wanted to mention that with those Harbor Freight clamps like I'm not seeing anything funky there everything works as as intended everything slides back and forth everything locks in place everything feels really good uh, so I don't feel anything that's felt cheaped out as far as that's concerned it all feels really good now while we are looking at these clamps all kind of side by side it's also worth noting that everything looks pretty much about the same um, your, your heights of everything look about the same the length of everything looks about the same um, the Harbor Freight ones come with the little feet that you can put in for your work pieces to kind of keep those lifted up off of those bars for anything delicate that you're doing um, everything looks fairly similar as far as that part is concerned the other thing that's worth mentioning too is that these clamps are not quite as good as the Bessies so when you stand these type clamps up um, the the Harbor Freight ones tend to the head wants to start sliding and kind of slowly falling down um, and when you stand up the Bessies they're actually kind of designed to prevent that from happening now how big a deal is that I don't know I mean I don't really run into that that much but you know apparently it was something I think that they changed eventually in the past uh, because that was kind of a complaint that they got another thing that I wanted to mention between these two clamps it's a little bit different those Bessie clamps have an Allen key spot in the end of the handle to where you can grab it with an Allen wrench and and do a little bit more torque down if you need to now for me I've never had to really use that I can do everything I need to do with my hand most of the time but if you're a person that maybe you've got a hand injury or anything like that, that may be a big deal for you. So just wanted to mention the Harbor Freight clamps don't have that spot for that Allen wrench. So overall, I think these clamps are pretty good. At first, I didn't think there was going to be any way to really be able to tell the difference between the two other than maybe the color. But as I got to looking at them a little bit more, there were definitely a few differences. The main difference and the main tell that they were from Harbor Freight being that fixed end having that discrepancy and not being a true 90. Now for some of you guys, that's gonna be a deal breaker and that's okay. You know the type of person that you are and you also know the type of woodworking that you're doing. I do a lot of woodworking, but I'm not just a woodworker. I do a lot of DIY type stuff as well. And so for me, I think these are gonna work and I will probably continue to buy more unless I see something else that creeps up that I'm just not seeing in this first few days that I've had these. So if this has helped you out, be sure and hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Also, if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'd love to answer anything, help you out in any way that I can. Other than that, y'all have a great day. We'll catch you next time.